here we are with Overlord Season 4, Episode 9. And yeah, last episode I said... First of all, last episode they said slain theocracy, or theocracy they said. But what they actually meant was Holy Kingdom. Um, so there was a translation error. And second of all, I said there, it felt like as if there was a, a time a time skip. And yes, there was indeed one. Uh, everything that happened between episode 7 and 9, uh, episode 7 and 8 is basically volume 12 and 13 of the light novel. And so, yeah, it basically went from volume 11 to volume 14 now. And so, yeah, that the two volumes we missed will be the movie we get later, which is kind of weird that we get the movie after the fact, right? Um, but okay, many people said it's like the best arc in the whole light novel, The Holy Kingdom, and it deserves... A movie so can't wait to see that right and yeah otherwise baron philip did some dumb shit attacked eins um food supply carriage that went to the holy kingdom <clears throat> and yeah got found out immediately and now eins basically kind of like almost declared war against the kingdom because of the hostile act against him based on what Philip did, right? And now Alberto is at the kingdom and the king offered his own head as an apology. So we will see how that turns out, right? But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to this episode. Yeah, now it's Holy Kingdom. They fixed it. <coughs> Yeah, so we will see how that turns out. <clears throat> I said it, I said it last episode. If they take the head, that might seem not that great, right? They could be like, "Oh, look, the sorcerer king. He's a skeleton, and now he took the head of a of a king, right? He's a monster." Um, but if they do it, it could be advantageous because then probably what is his name Zanek Prince Zanek will be the new king probably and I guess he is easier to manipulate or get on your side than the king because the king is pretty stubborn <clears throat> because the king is always like this is the one thing we can't do. Vessel state? No, we can't do that. That's like a disgrace to all the people that died in the war and all that stuff. While Zenik is like, vessel state? That would be good, right? But I can't see another war happening, right? <laughs> that would be kind of crazy if we get another war. war. Oh, she likes it. <clears throat> okay, it is war. Okay. Okay, they give him some time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she could do it alone probably most likely
<laughs> Let's enjoy ourselves. Well, I guess they are kind of fucked. <clears throat> they can just teleport them with a warp. Will Ein send even someone? I mean, like anyone like himself, Chaltier? Or maybe he just sends like skeletons and death knights and stuff? I guess even death knights would be enough, right? <laughs> Nope. <clears throat> I think I've heard the blade only can really hurt Ions if he like deactivates all his defenses. <laughs> I think I've heard from someone. So if that's true, even if Eins has like all his defenses up, the blade is useless against him pretty, pretty much. <laughs> what? To war? What? What? I, I miss, I guess I missed something. I guess not because that would be suicide, right? Hey, can we send a kid to death? Okay, it's one month already. <clears throat> She's happy. Thanks for the praise. Okay, so basically isolating them. I guess Eins goes easy on them, right? So maybe that he just sends enough to beat them. So that he just can't take over. Every floor guardian is is like doing one thing, right? Everyone has like maybe his domain he controls basically maybe. <laughs> I don't think there is a guild that is stronger. <laughs> oh, Eins is going. Is he fighting the kingdom? <laughs> Did I miss something again? I feel like I missed something. Is it not about the kingdom? 
Yeah, okay, it's not the kingdom. <laughs> Nani? Oh, Nigrido. Oh, did we see her? Do we see her? <clears throat> Pestonia is, I think, the dog, right? <clears throat> mm hmm. She was. Oh. I think we will see her finally. <coughs> it's Albedo, Nigrido, and another, right? I don't know the other one. There's another one. <clears throat> That's Pistonia, I think. She has a scissor. Okay. Did she cut off her face? Where's the blood from suddenly? Not what I expected she would look like. I mean, it's not like that Eins want to wipe them all out, right? I guess that will never happen. <laughs> Unless they found some find some powerful weapon or some shit. Mm hmm Yeah. <coughs> to tell the tale of the horror. small number okay so is he planning on just wiping out the whole kingdom and i mean except if 
few minority. <laughs> My future self. <clears throat> it sounds like he wants to wipe out the whole kingdom, right? Except now he wants to let some people live. Oh, that's a girl from the intro, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm interested in her. I want to see what she... Okay. Oh, do we see the fight from the intro now? Two death knights, but what one has two blades? This dude is very chill. But since these are monsters, it changes. <laughs> but so wait, she's Mithril? But Adamantite is the highest, right? So she's not like one of the highest adventurers, right? If I have it right. So I guess she isn't standing a good chance. <laughs> I mean, even if she would be like the highest ranking adventurer, I think even then she would have a hard time against Death Knights, I would imagine. I think Death Knights are very strong in this world. <laughs> Five colored holy swords. Interesting. I guess that might be something that Eins would be interested in. Who is that? Oh. <laughs> Does she like that? Because she likes kids. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the fuck? Question is, will she survive, right? <laughs> she looks like she could survive. She looks like a main character. Let's see, I guess the normal undead in front will be weak, but the two death knights could be strong. I would say holy or fire. <laughs> That's probably completely useless. <clears throat> so, 
What happens if they manage to defeat the Death Knights? Will I send more and be like, surprise, motherfucker? You thought you beat him, but he has more. <laughs> Nothing. That seems kind of strong, but nothing against a Death Knight. I wonder if it even scratches him. <laughs> he still keeps going and is not even protecting. <laughs> his trump card! <laughs> they are his foot soldiers! He can just create one Death Knight out of a hat if he wants to. <clears throat> ah damn, this episode is almost over. Oh, I guess that hurt him a bit? Maybe? <clears throat> Maybe this Death Knight is just like the weak one and the other one is like the really strong one that goes rampage. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. That's a sweet ability, I would say. Reminds me of Ragnarok Online, where you have, like, double hits. <laughs> and this is just one Death Knight right now. I would imagine the other one is really like more agile because he doesn't have this big shield. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> nice trick, but doesn't work. Let me guess, it ends now. What is that? Who was that? Oh, is this a gun guy from the intro? In the red armor? Yes! Who is this? Who is this? Oh, is this maybe someone from Ainz? And he just plays something? Like, he is another hero that came out of nowhere. You maybe have a chance now. Like a... Maybe not. Who is this? He's fast. Is this Ein scheming? Is this from Ein something? Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, okay, so they kinda. They don't really take the head of the king, right? But they are saying, okay, we don't need your head because we just go to war in like one month. Um interestingly enough, one month apparently has already apparently has already passed. But they still attack other towns. 
So I guess maybe it's not completely one month, maybe. Um, but yeah, they basically attack other towns and stuff to <clears throat> cut the supply chains and stuff and cut the borders from the kingdom so that the, that the kingdom can't get any help or support from others, right? Um, which is kind of smart, I would say, right? Um, cut them off from everyone else, basically. And yeah, Ions attacks now this... <clears throat> and yeah, it, it makes sense why people from the towns or whatever that Ions attacked, apparently, why there were survivors, humans, right? Because before that, he talked with Nigrido, uh, and because of that, he lets a few people live so that they can tell the tale, right? Which I think makes sense, right? Because if you can talk about the horrors and carry that on to other people, then they know, okay, we shouldn't fuck with them because that's bad, right? Makes sense, I would say. Instead of, like, just wiping everyone out. Because, I mean, if you wipe everyone out and people hear about that, I mean, that's also basically the same. But if you just wipe someone out, maybe the word won't even come out, right? So if there are survivors and they spread and go to different towns and stuff, it it spreads way faster and more, right? And then those people will maybe, then maybe merchants or something hear about it, they go further away to different towns and cities and whatnot and tell the story there and then in, there will people will spread it even more and then it spreads across the whole continent and everything, right? It just spreads more and more. So like I said, I think that makes sense. And yeah, I think... Uh, the four armaments we had here are Mithril, Adventurer, and I think they are the second highest, right? I think the highest are Adamantite, which is the Red Mecha gun armor guy that we saw at the end. He was Adamantite, I think, and he was super fast and has a gun and just two-shotted the Death Knights, basically. Or maybe four shots, two for each Death Knight, I didn't count it. Um, but yeah. From what it sounds like, it might have been Ayn's plan. <clears throat> um, because Ayn said, yeah, as expected. If there's suddenly someone that just comes flying by, kills Death Knights like nothing, and gen then just flies away, I wouldn't say that's as expected, right? So, I guess that's something Ayn's planned somehow. Because Eins also said, I let my future self deal with it or something along those lines. So maybe that was Eins' future self that he talked about. Maybe that was maybe a Pandora's actor. What confuses me is that he has Adamantite. So, I mean, we just saw that it's the Adamantite necklace, right? Thing. Um... Could have been the one from Momonga, maybe, that he just gave to maybe Pandora's actor. Or to whatever that is, right? Um, <clears throat> because, I don't know. I can't imagine that in this world there is someone that has a mecha armor with a gun. Because this is very fantasy based and we haven't seen anything that looks like mecha or anything that is close to a gun so i guess that might really might be something that i set up from what he said and just that it's out of nowhere suddenly right so yeah will be interesting i guess that's maybe <clears throat> to defeat himself basically and maybe give some hope right that people think like momonga oh there's suddenly this this adamantite adventurer out of nowhere and that is super strong we maybe can use him get in contact with him that he can help us against eins maybe right give like a ray of hope basically um or something like that or because i guess otherwise if whoever that was hadn't shown up i guess everyone would have died against the two death knights right they had trouble against one death knight had to glue him to the ground and that couldn't stop the death knight so, magic didn't, everything they did, nothing did anything to the Death Knight. The Death Knight was still standing and ready to go. And then the other Death Knight comes in. So, yeah, I guess they had, like, no chance against the Death Knights. <laughs> and so, yeah. 
I guess we will see what happens next episode. At least there was no cliffhanger, right? That is like, oh, what will happen next episode? Death Knights or the four armaments? Who will survive, right? Um, at least they resolve that basically, but they give us the cliffhanger of was it Eins that planned that or not? Um, so yeah, next episode will be again interesting to see the conclusion that Eins tells us what the fuck was going on that he expected, right? Like I said, I think it's like Eins doing. And so, yeah. And then maybe next episode we already hopefully get the attack on the kingdom, hopefully. And after that, we are already at episode 11 and 12 and i think it has 13 so man we're getting very close to the end of the season already closer and closer so what could really happen maybe next episode won't be the attack on the kingdom <clears throat> because i think i could imagine that maybe the attack on the kingdom might be the highlight of the season right so that could be maybe the last two episodes but that would mean that next episode, and maybe the episode after that, if it's again 13 episodes, which is normal for Overlord, I would say, so I guess it's 13. So then maybe next and the episode after that are maybe not the attack on the kingdom. Hmm. Will be interesting, but okay, yeah, that's the episode. So if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.